everyone. Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today I have an exciting video for you all and that is Wave Gel Glow in the Dark Gel Polishes. So I'm really excited. I got the entire collection. I want to share it with you. I hope you like it. So um, the glow doesn't ever come out. Like I can't I can't I can photograph it but I can't video record it so um, there will be a picture of all of the um, all of the swatch sticks um, in daylight and then a picture of them in glow and I'll put them together so you can see so I hope you like it so anyways let's get on with the swatches let's get started the first glow um, glow in the dark polish gel polish I'm going to show is the top coat which glows to a greenish glow color. I have used this one plenty of times before and it hasn't affected um, putting it over you know a color so it doesn't make it cloudy or anything like that and as you can tell it goes on really clear and I'm going to cure that and then we'll come back I like to do two coats of this okay now I'm going to apply a second coat I use this over um, a green at Halloween to make a Frankenstein glow in the dark face, which I stamped and it was totally awesome. I'll put the um, I'll put the link to that video in the description box below in case you're interested in checking that one out. I think I'm going to give it one more coat just so that it gives a really strong glow in my pictures. Okay, so here is three coats, and as you can tell, it is looking a little cloudy, but it really doesn't appear that way over polishes, and what I will do is, actually I'm going to be using these at the end over some polishes. So, oh, and the good thing about this is I didn't even know this is a no-wipe top coat, so that's pretty awesome. So... Here's a picture of the glow in the dark top coat over the clear swatch stick in the dark. I actually have a, a pink swatch stick. Don't ask me what color this is. I have no idea. It's not marked. <laughs> um, and I think I'll put a couple of coats of this glow over the top of that so you can see it right away. Two coats should be enough to give it a nice glow. Okay, now we're going to put a second coat on. Okay, that should work out good. And that is two coats over this great pink, so you cannot tell that it's really there. It doesn't appear to be cloudy or anything like that. On the left is the top coat over the pink, and on the right is the top coat over um, just the clear swatch stick. Okay, so first up on the glow colors is glow number one, and it looks like it's going to be like a gold to maybe a green from the picture on the package. Let's take a look at this. Okay, you ready for this? Surprise! <laughs> it's, um, it's a glitter. It's a gold glitter. This is simply gorgeous. So... If you want to go out on the town and be glitzy and then glow by night, this is the one for you. 
it's completely beautiful and it's it's like a light gold it reminds me of my favorite ornament from OPI which I completely love that color this one looks like it could be maybe like it's just a real real pale gold it's completely gorgeous and this is one coat and look at the coverage on that so that's pretty awesome and it looks kind of like foil which is not coming up on the camera that way but it's kind of like a, a foil beautiful foil sparkly look it's completely gorgeous so let me cure this and come back for a second okay so now we're ready for the second coat I'm using clear swatch stick so we can tell how sheer it is and if we need three coats or whatever that's kind of hard to tell on the um, you know the natural opaque swatch sticks so this one looks pretty good in two coats I would say you know yeah let's say it's really good in two coats so I'm gonna cure this okay so we do need to sorry about that we do need to top coat this so I am going to top coat it with my shiny um, no clean top coat here and then I'll cure that okay so here it is with um, the top coat I think that is just a real pretty color It's coming up a little bit darker on the camera, but it's um, it's actually a really light gold. It's quite a bit lighter than when it's coming up on the camera. This is a good picture of the color, how it really does look. Next, we're going to look at glow number two, and it shows like a light pink to a green in the dark. So let's check this out. Okay, and this looks like kind of a sheer, I would say kind of like a unicorn. It's got some like purple shimmer in it and that is very pretty let's see what it'll look like over a black and a white so here we have a white Well, it's not doing too much. Um, it's definitely making it sparkly, kind of like, like your unicorn. Let me see. My camera's not focusing. Kind of like your unicorn thing, what it would look like over white. Okay, let's check it out over black. So this one might have been meant to be a topper. Well, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm going to cure these and we'll come back for a second coat. Okay, let's apply a second coat. And as you can tell underneath, you don't see my name very well, but it is it is sheer. You can see my name a little bit underneath there. So um, maybe three coats, and you could probably just get away with wearing this on its own. Let's let's go for it. We'll try three coats. Over the white and the black, I think we're just going to do two coats though.
And we'll go over the black. I'm thinking maybe just one coat over the black because they did kind of give it like a cloudy look. You're not seeing it that much on camera, but definitely off camera. It's giving it sort of a cloudy look. I would only probably do one coat over black. Okay, so now we'll add the third coat. And let's see, they did kind of make it a lot more opaque, so it is going to be pretty on its own. Okay, so over white, I'm just going to top coat this. This is just the regular shiny no clean top coat. And this is black, but this is only one coat. And I'm putting the shiny no clean top coat over that. Okay, so here is our three coats and I'm just going to top coat that with the shiny no clean top coat. Okay, here is goal number two in the dark. On the left is just the plain glow number two. In the middle is the number two over black, which over darker colors, I think you need um, like more top coats or whatever over that. And on the right side is the glow number two over the white. Next we have glow number three, which on the <sighs> on the packaging kind of really looks brown <laughs> brown to red um but you know these these colors are things like computer generated so i don't think they really um match what's actually in the bottle that's why i'm doing these swatches for you guys okay so let's take a look at this And this is, I think it's really beautiful. I don't know what the heck to call it. It looks like a, um, kind of like a reddish pink. Um, so I'm going to go with that one. I like a reddish pink. Or a pinkish red. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's gorgeous and it's going to look so great in a Manny for summertime. <sighs> this is one coat and they're kind of sheer, so they're kind of jelly-like. I'm loving my jellies. So let me cure this and we'll come back. Okay, so let's give this one a second coat. I think I might do a glow-in-the-dark watermelon Manny with this one for summer. So it deepens up a little bit more to the reddish side when you put your two coats on. It's really pretty. I am loving the color. On camera it looks really red, um, but in person it's just, it's, it's a mixture of pinkish red. And you can tell right down here that it's a little pink. So it's just really a unique color. Let's just go with that. But it's really, really gorgeous. I can't wait to get this on my fingers. I think two coats of this is pretty good. I am not seeing anything. Maybe just a touch of my words underneath. It's a little bit sheer, but we're gonna stop at two coats. I think it's pretty like this. I was really surprised that we got the number two to build up like we did. 
That surprised me. I thought it was going to be more sheer. So we've got the top coat on here. Let me cure that and come back. So here it is with um, two coats and a top coat. And the color you're seeing at this angle from the camera, that's actually pretty, that, that's pretty much what it, what the color is. It's just so beautiful. I'm, I'm in love with this one. <laughs> So here we have it glowing in the dark, and I do think it looks like a really pretty coral in the dark. Now we're going to take a look at number four, and this one looks like, I don't know, pink to tan. Actually, I know what this one is because I actually have had this one for quite a while, and I just went with that it. it's probably a pink. <laughs> So, um, and I was right, and it's beautiful. So let's take a look at it. And this one is a really bright, vibrant, um, I'd say like a neon pink. So this collection is definitely awesome for summer. I love this color. Okay, let's add our second coat. see yeah this one's got that jelly like look too but this one this one's kind of on camera it's not looking that sheer but in person it's pretty sheer so I think I would give it a third coat okay so we're gonna put the third coat on And that one seems a little bit better. You can still see, like, it's, I don't know, these are, like, kind of jelly sheerish. Um, but if you found a color that matched, you could probably put that down first and then just a couple coats of this glow stuff for the color. Okay, now I'm going to add the shiny no clean top coat. So here it is, top coated. Um, it's coming up a touch darker on camera. It is kind of like a little bit of a lighter color. Neon, it's gorgeous. I completely love this one. And here it is glowing in the dark. It's kind of like a soft pink. Really pretty. Next, we have Glow in the Dark 5, which from the color looks like lime green or whatever to dark green. Let's see what it is. Personally, I don't think this is green at all. Might might be a yellow with a tinge of green. Um, definitely a neon color, but yeah, I'm not, I mean, this first coat does look kind of greenish, but it's also really, really yellow. Oh yeah, it's coming up super yellow on camera. It's coming up with a touch greener tinge off camera, but, so I would say it's yellow with kind of like a greenish something in there. Okay, let's take, uh, let's do a second coat. Again, this is kind of like a, like a jellyish kind of look. Yeah, I don't think these are like creams or anything like that. Definitely, I think they're on the jelly line, which I completely love. Love jelly nail polishes. This one looks pretty opaque. Um, you know, if you're trying to, you might need three, but I think we're just going to leave it at two. Now we're just going to add the shiny and no clean top coat. Should I skip this part? <laughs> I don't know. Love in the shine. So here it is top coated and 
it's coming up just a touch more yellow on camera than it is in person, but I'm thinking it's like kind of yellow. <laughs> really thinking, yeah, I just really think it's yellow. Yep, the photographs, it's yellow. It's pretty much that exact same color. It turns to a beautiful green in the dark. Okay, so the last one we have is this one. Oh, there's some more on the edge. So, yes, um, it's blue to blue. I was making some cat swatch rings for these because I like to have those... Um, I like to have the swatch rings around the top so I can tell where my colors are. And this is a gorgeous blue. Hmm. The first coat here, it looks kind of turquoisey. So let's cure that and come back for the second. Oh, on camera it doesn't. On camera it looks kind of like a cobalt blue. Okay, let's put a second coat on there. It is just like the other ones, kind of a sheer jelly formula and I'm just gonna love this. I'm gonna love this whole collection for summer. I think you guys are gonna see me with some new nail polish bases instead of what, strawberry shortcake all the time. <laughs> so this is good and it is, um, and it's coming out a little bit darker on camera than it is off camera. Hmm. And it is pretty sheer. I think maybe we'll try three coats of this. Okay, so let's try the third coat. And this one is, it's just going to be a sheer polish, um, kind of sheerish, even with three coats, but it's beautiful and I love it. And for some reason it's coming off more cobalt on the camera than it is on my swatch stick. My swatch stick, it's kind of like, I want to say it's like a deep turquoisey color. Yeah. Just won't pick up the color blue. Why will you not do this? <laughs> uh, may, I'm hoping the picture will come out better. Actually, I think it depends on what light you're in. So it can look more like a cobalt. And then in some like brighter lights, I've got, I've got these daylight bulbs in here. It can come off more of a little turquoisey color. So there we go. <laughs> so now we're gonna stick the top coat on. That makes it all beautiful. I can just see these with under the sea Manny polish. It'll be great. Okay, so here is the glow in the dark and top coated. Very beautiful. And this is also beautiful in the dark. It's kind of a, a lighter color blue. Very nice. So here is the entire um, Glow in the tar Dark collection. I just think it's so beautiful. I'm trying to get different lighting angles here for you guys. And now we're going to take a look at them all together, glowing in the dark. So I did some experimenting. And what I did was I did the glow in the dark top color wait, the glow in the dark polish with the glow in the dark top coat. Um, and that's what this row is. And it didn't really change the color, you know, obviously in the sunlight, whatever 
daylight light <laughs> it didn't turn change the color at all the top coat is um coated over a pink right here um and let's take a look and see what they look like in the dark it actually didn't even change the look of them in the dark either they still pretty much look exactly the same that concluded the glow in the dark the made glow in the dark ones however i'm going to throw this one in here purple pepper does glow in the dark it's part of the matching set um i you may have heard me you know say it in some other videos but if you haven't um i first got purple pepper which is not purple at all it's pink <laughs> I also had someone say, is, is the camera lighting off? Because it looks pink. It doesn't look purple. It It isn't purple. I don't know why they named it that. Whatever. But anyways, so my story is that I bought purple pepper and I put it on my fingers and I went to bed and I woke up in the middle of the night and I see all these glowing things and I didn't know what they were. It scared the heck out of me. And then I found out it was my fingernails. <laughs> purple pepper glows in the dark. Now it's a different kind of glowing polish the longer it's in the dark the more intense the glow so when you wake up in the middle of the night it is glowing like crazy so i thought i would throw this one in here because i do like it now um the regular lacquer does not glow in the dark um that it comes with completely not so it is just the gel so let's take a look at this one And this is a nice bright pink okay, I'm gonna cure that we'll come back for a second coat okay so now I'm gonna put a second coat on and this one I think um, is a cream as the other formulas are more of a jelly so here are look, all the colors really glowing like in the dark a cream nice shiny cream and really only needs two coats okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put um, the shiny no clean top coat over this And cure that. Go back. Okay, so here um, is purple pepper, and it's pretty much true to color on the camera. And this one is a peachy color in the dark, and you don't need to activate this one by light to make it glow. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.